Hi, brother Marin here, laddies. My name is Ryan Wilkinson, and we're my channel, Treats and Dental Sticks. So, Treats and Dental Sticks love, Treats and Dental Sticks is life. You can have I'm a big spin on myself, it's pretty shocking. Anyways, if you haven't checked out part one, you can check it out before or after this year's video. There will be a third part, which I'll barely have any comics, and it's probably about, I don't know, 30, maybe a even. I'll just split them up into three parts. This one here is all about Spider Man. Spider Man! Anyways, let's get started. I think let's get started with things here. And this is basically the box I keep them in. I think it's about 50 and sorry if I can throw it up. It's a really light box. Like, obviously, you can comment out it's more high. Do a stem with her. Pepper Storm Comics. If you don't have the box, you get a comic book store like Durham Planet and just your local comic book stores. If you ever get any packages like sent to your house, like whatever it is, like just keep them in our boxes. Even like a laptop box would probably help. Not from like really, really flat ones, something like a bit bigger for store more comics. <coughs> um, these aren't even the right order. Three, four, two, three, four, five, and seven. I don't even know why I even bought these here. Please stop doing that. I don't even know why I even bought these here. Um, uh, probably because they're cheap at hand each. Where I get all my comics from, I'm buying it like in a very long time, probably like more than five years. Each comic, if it doesn't have a sticker on it, like that there, basically, it's a pound. That has a sticker on it. Basically, it's anything more than a pound, so a pound for a comic isn't actually too bad. These came out, the first issue would have been uh, November 1992. So there's issues two, three, four, five, no six, a month. There's issue number seven there that has Fulcher. If I can hold over there. Too much of a Shannon. That's another thing as well. I think it's all to do with your lighting. And I, think, I think it's not just primarily lighting, it's probably like, you know, your camera as well. In the future, we'll make more money and the you know, the best one on the YouTube and whatnot. There's Fulcher right there. I think Thor's in this comic, or maybe it's a different one. Uh, let's see. I can't really say much about these, but there's like 46 in total in this year's series here. So, like, I'll buy the rest of them. It looks pretty cool if you can see like, the middle segment. Uh, right there, where my finger's kind of pointing to there. Like, uh, just the way it's in the dark when he's outside at nighttime. The way it looks, and that there as well. Venom, how cool that looks. And you can always check these every long time. They're actually stuck on this day because I bought them back. Here's a tip for you in comics. No matter what I want to say, like, don't buy modern comics. I mean, like, the total amount of comics I've had is probably like 500 or less, maybe. I don't know how much time I keep staying up with the focus thing. It's maybe because it's a bit dark and I can't pick up my face. That maybe be why I think mostly all the focus on my face. Here's in fantasy number 15. Bought it just for the sake of it. It's actually number of the favorite story. I don't know that, I don't know when you know anything about Amazing Fantasy. There's like three issues in this here. Well, I think there's four stories. Because he's Spider Man Part 1, Part 2, which is basically just, you may as well say, one part. Spider Man. Right there, in the middle, he gets bit by the spider. Uh, so you actually always appear Spider Man this year. The thing is, as well, if you see the first episode of like, the Spider Man 1990 cartoon, he appears, uh, well, he fights first as the lizard. And then and you watch the uh, Amazing Spider Man movie with Andrew Garfield, he fights the lizard not there, so it's probably just like a live action version of that. And if you basically uh, watch, let's say, the Tony Wire one, the first person he actually fights is Green Goblin. So I'm guessing uh, the main story, like probably in this here, or maybe Amazing Fantasy number uh, 15, is probably uh, fighting who do you call it? I was show you a spider man there. Uh, Green Goblin, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. I think sometimes they just do have a comic books, like they just change around origin stories. Like, if you watch, let's say, a TV show, like a cartoon, you watch a film, and then you also watch like, a live action show, and then you, you play a game, and then you also like, read a comic as well. So, like, those five different types of like, media will be like all different. So, basically, that there, you know. Pick it up and read it if you really want them yourself. Uh, I've got two amazing Spider Man comics, or maybe let's show both these first. Uh, <clears throat> well, one is I mean, Spider Man, well, one of them is not amazing Spider Man, so meant, well, one is and one isn't. Uh, there's actually a series called Spider Man as well. I think it started in the 80s. I read a bit of it, I don't think much about it. I just want to say a spoiler alert about how Spider Man's parents died. You look it up if you really want, but that's basically how his parents died in this here. Um, I'm not really going to show you anything inside it, apart from just, you know, having like Mary Jane and Gallows basically there. I'm not too sure how many stories are actually in this year, I need to look. Uh, it says in the front, inside a great new film, but the web spinner's origin as he remembers it, but the secret 
Let's see our spider man's power. I get four closer, but just in a second. And that's basically it. Many uh, pages are in it. We're 30. Maybe there's like two stories with comics. You see, only last about 30 pages, if even. So it's basically that there. That cost me a fiver. These cost me. Actually, wait, this one. This one cost a fiver. I think there was a price to owe you in a wallet. Ah, they're both a fiver. Stuff like this here, even if you only get like one issue in the, the series, it has like bonus issues where you do like, you know, the start and then the end is all in the one issue. So it's not like you have to buy like a ton of issues to get, you know, the full story. But the thing that they're kind of worth getting if you want is a bit of a collector's item. It might be a bad rate, but the way the covers are, we got their Spider Man. I don't know who that is. And then there's a poster in this here. One as well. You'll see the poster in a second. He's fighting the lizard. I'm not sure it's how he turns into the lizard or how he kills him or whatever. But that, that there is actually pretty damn cool looking. I'll just hold the light to get there. Go across like one second, hold it up a bit better. I'll show you these posters now. That's a thing as well, I don't want to fail on my other channel, which is basically it's a gaming channel. You can check it out if you want, if you're into your gaming. I'm just gonna make a primarily gaming, so gameplay, gaming news and stuff. I was never gonna make a second channel, but a lot of people seem to do it. But uh See you uh, with getting like post a basic on posters video. I can find these, the creators, and I found them like a day or two ago. The thing is, but like getting like posters instead of just going to like you know, like the HMP and whatnot, a uh, good place to get posters is comic books. This is a pretty good poster, best of the two. Uh, also, they're pretty skinny as well, so like one's horizontal, one's vertical, so get a frame to fit these. Uh, just always measure them and then get a frame when we're looking at the measurements in uh, inches and centimeters. So Carnage, uh, Spider-Man, and Phantom. That that their poster looks like. So hold this here side here. So there's Phantom there, Spider-Man in the middle, and all the way to the end you see Carnage. I'm not too sure if I prefer Carnage or Spider-Man or Phantom. Me. I mean, I like the colors red and black. Red and black are two colors go well together. Uh, don't get really hard Carnage. Probably like you know in the TV series. Maybe uh, if he ever was in that there. I mean that was ages ago. I remember watching that all again if you can get it on DVD. But a lot of people like Carnage, but it's just like there's so many like, Spider Man films that probably only ever appear in the comics or maybe they only make like, a couple appearances in the uh, cartoons. But you can see Silver Surfer there. There's a bit of a rip, uh, so like there, just with the uh, a tiny bit of a rip, only just most there now, and then a slightly bigger rip. Like if you can see where I'm hitting it, just like right there along the crease of uh, pretty much you know, the staples. So that doesn't look too bad, looks good because like. I think the BC done night time, probably. Uh, do a dark background and a lighter character figure. Uh, BC so like Silver Surfer, it really stands out. So if it was daytime, we probably wouldn't stand out that much. But it's pretty good. I remember watching the Silver Surfer cartoon as a kid, but I can't remember much about it to be honest. Uh, this here is actually the first appearance of Carnage. Not as a as Carnage. I think the comedy was not worth that much. I think it's maybe the third. He appears as a humanoid in this year, basically. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, like getting around Hogwarts and stuff. It's the Punisher, like, I don't know if it's a NES game ever. It's a Nintendo. Yeah, NES. <coughs> this here one here was like two quid. The uh, corners fold up a bit. I'm just trying to like, see if we get it. My like, God, look how old that basically looks. Like, it's like, like an old lady paper, like, freaking, like, you know, worn away and whatnot. Uh, one second, I've actually come find him. He's basically in jail. Reynolds in this here. I think he's in this issue, I'm pretty sure he is in this issue, where if you see like around the jail cell. Or if I'm wrong, with a different issue, but I'm pretty sure, I'll just double check before you record this video, where like, it was on Wikipedia. Aye. Um, there's two guys here, I think he's like, that guy, like, if you can actually see like right there. So, he's basically the guy at the very top segment there, I'm pretty sure there's coins right there. So we might get some uh, comics and Carnage. I think I like, I think I like about comics uh, where you get like, you make your mini series. So like it breaks off and then we'll have like a series where it features like certain like films and like that'll be like part one and so on. The mini series is always good to get. My first race I read comics was totally like the Lucas Flynn. You don't always get great series, it's just like, you know, like a series. Let me see, I think you're like 20 here in total. So that's an honor about buying comics in the future. I'm just going to do this here. So I go to this store and I see like, and say issues one to ten, right? But it's an issues one to ten, so issues one, then three, four, then seven, then nine, then like maybe there's ten or eleven, and then there's nothing up to like twenty. I'm not gonna buy issues one to like ten unless you actually get 
the next three hours on issues from all the pain, as in the pen issues. Because like if your band like issue six, right? Then you're reading like, oh, this is amazing. Can't wait to see, hear the next story, or read the next story, and then you get like issues ten. It took six, and then ten, and then all the way to thirty-seven. I'm not going to show all these here, by the way. Black suit. I can't remember how I got the black suit in the film. It was basically from Phantom, but I'm not too sure about the comics. You just change the story around all the time. That's a weird thing about Spider-Man, which I don't understand. Is like with the stories they have like different characters, different villains, or just like different stories, or like all of the above. Because you're reading like Spectacular Spider-Man, and my Spectacular Spider-Man. Well, you're reading Amazing Spider-Man, and why did Amazing Spider-Man still being printed? You're reading Spectacular Spider-Man, so you're reading three things at once, and then you're reading three things at once. Whenever they do like web of Spider-Man. So 56, 57, 58, you know, just three issues in a row here. Uh, I don't even know what this guy's even called. Like, you know, some guy on a skateboard is good. Rocket racer, he's called. Never even heard of him, or he's in the cartoon. Uh, 62, 62, yeah, again. 62, so we're like an issue on its own. 66, an issue on its own, yet again. Green Goblin, that's probably one of the reasons why I bought it, and probably because, like, I always love the Green Goblin and the Cobb Goblin. I actually might be Hobb Goblin, I don't know if it's, you know, it's Green Goblin. The three I thought Green Goblin and Hobb Goblin like, were different, with like, you know what to throw, because like, he's got like, a pumpkin, and that's what Hobb Goblin uses. 68, and I'm seeing some, I like Tombstone, I thought Tombstone was pretty good. I remember like seeing this ages ago, I actually owned this like, comic like, twice I think. Tombstone and Hammerhead, I think the cover looks amazing. As you can see, shot many bullets. I don't even know what Tombstone is, like a zombie or what he is. Actually, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. Yeah, so it's like basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ish. Wait, let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, 7 issues on, on, in a row. So 77 to 83. And I kind of like, where's the cover? Kind of like other cover hours where you're. Your robot dudes like flying up in the air. It's pretty good. Well, let's put these all in order again after I record this video. And then there's Web of Spider Man 91, 92. See, like, two issues where basically, like, you're gonna read 91, 92, and you're not gonna be able to read anything else. Freaking focus, will you? I look crap. I mean, too much of a good hour. <coughs> I don't understand how there's too much light, like, there's a bit of light coming off the camera, so there is. And you're still, it's actually still not even that dark outside. It's starting to get dark, it's like, just after 10, uh, 97, 98, 99, there's no 102, so 1, 2, 3, my enemy's enemy, uh, he's 1, 2, and 3, mini series, and there's no issue 4, because I don't have the issue. And then there's issues 105, 114. Out of these here, there's like 18 or 20, I can't count them. So 151, and there's no 151 there, Spectacular Spider Man now, these are good stories as well. So 151, where is that one? Let's have that two or three times. Yep. 153, 154, 155, 156, 157. So there's like, let me see what that like, four or five issues. One, two, three, four, yeah, five issues in a row. Tombstone Hammerhead, probably like made around the same time, like in the 90s, is like, got the other one, Tombstone Hammerhead on it. Yeah, do this here, it's crazy on the screen. That's probably where most of the lights come from, actually. 162, 163, 164, 165, 166, 167. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <coughs> so I think there's found one called Goblin on Karin. 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. So there's basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 issues. These are kind of weird. I'm not too sure about the cartoon and like. With all the comics by like Doc Ock, I think like Doc Ock was like obsessed. He had Spider Man, like he knew his identity. And like he like was obsessed with like Uncle Mayor or something. Like he just wanted like, to try and like kill her or something. It's kind of like weird, like, because you have to like read more actually know the story. I don't even know why I even bought this here. Wait. I think it's just banned ton of comics. More than I think whenever you see stuff, you're like, yeah, all banned. But it's best unless you're getting like all issues. In a row, it went bam. Unless it's an annual or like a one shot, one shot basically, as I said, to give them up the issue, you get like 30 pages and just like a start to end, like story, like a special, really. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Be harder and like a playlist on screen to check out. Uh, 
my collection of videos. I'm gonna like do more on this channel and like my other channel and I'm gonna touch up and then other gameplay. Part one, uh was it like two years ago and part uh three. I'm not gonna be putting daily videos on this channel, mostly daily daily videos on my other gaming channel. And this channel here is basically just gonna be like releasing at least one video a week. If I'm gonna say that maybe I can have like hmm I don't know, three or four if I can, three if I really can. Anyways, enjoy the video. As always, thank you for watching. Arrivederci.